Hey everyone, this is David with All Beach Everything, bringing you another playing tip for today, and we're going to be going over defense again, and what we're going to be covering specifically is defensive positioning, and I'm going to be highlighting uh, the different styles and strategies that you can use when you're out on the beach. And what I'm going to be showing you here today is how Casey Jennings, who's on the top screen, and Sean Rosenthal on the bottom screen, uh, play much differently and have... Uh, two different, very different uh, philosophies on how they want to play uh, on defense. And it's not to say that one is better than the other, one is right, one is wrong. This is really more about how comfortable you are making different plays, understanding your strengths and your weaknesses, and trying to play to those. So I'm going to run through this clip to show you what we're going to be dealing with. Okay, so on top, Casey couldn't quite get a clean enough dig, so his partner could play that up. Sean got a little bit better one, but that's not really the main thing we'll be looking at. For the most part, we're going to be looking at their setup off of the serve. So, as I'm going back, and one of the good things with the coach's eye is that it allows you to sync up two videos at once and simultaneously go through them and analyze them. So, we go back just a little bit further, okay. So, Sean just made his serve, and Pedro on top just made his serve. Pass is coming up, up to the setter, and right as it gets to the setter, I'm going to pause it. So, this is where you have to be kind of set in your base position, and this is where you're going to be transitioning to different parts of the court. And right off the bat, you can see big differences between Casey's and Sean's um, positioning. So if I were to draw a line down the middle of the court, about right, let's call it right there on the top and do it again on the bottom. Uh, somewhere around there. So it's not perfect, but I'd say that's about middle for both of them. But right off the bat you can see Casey, he's more towards the middle of the court and a little bit closer to the sideline, whereas Sean is closer to the sideline and a little bit more shallow. Now, what gives it, uh, Rosenthal the advantage in being a little bit more shallow is that it gives him basically a straight line over to the sideline. So from where he is, he can move perfectly horizontal towards sideline to make his play. Casey being a little bit deeper and having to move into the cross, he has to come a little bit on an angle. Not too sharp of an angle, just a very slight one. So let's go through this and you can see how their paths vary. Now is that slight angle enough to screw up Casey's dig? Maybe, maybe not. Um, seeing as he got a pretty good touch on it, I would say that's just like a 50-50 dig. One day he's going to make that, another day he won't. Um, I will say that it does make it just a little bit tougher to get around the ball. There's a slight chance that he can get beat to the sideline if you don't keep your body open to the court. Um, it's definitely a little bit more risky um, moving towards the sideline as opposed to moving up the middle of the court, but again, this is Casey's preference. It seems like he wants to start deeper to the back line. That way he's pretty much always moving forward to the ball, which is smart because it's easier to move forward than backwards. Um, those that are a little bit more athletically prone, like uh, Rosie, probably want to play a little bit more shallow because they can make um, they can move backwards and make angles and sharp cuts a lot easier. So even if he starts down here, closer to the sideline and more shallow, making this path to the high line if he was in the cross isn't that big of a deal for him. Likewise, say you want to play more towards the corner where you have straight line paths to both the cutty and the high line. But the downside here is that 
you can get beat to the sharp angle, like right around here, the sideline. And you think, okay, well, that's a sharp shot. It happens a lot on the beach. Players will hit um, into that sideline a lot. So even if you want to say, okay, I want to take away the sharp angle or just the shot to the sideline, give yourself a nice short distance to the cutty. Now you have a very, very long distance and a sharp angle to the high line. So these are a few different um, styles and strategies that you can use out on the beach. It's really up to you how you feel making different plays. If you feel you can um, read hitters high line shots and do that, maybe you want to play a little bit more shallow. Um, if you have a hard time picking up the cutty, then play a little bit closer to the net. If you have a hard time reading the high middle shot, stay deep at first towards the middle like Casey here. Go back and show you. Start where he is, take that away, and force the hitter to hit either into the high line or the cross. Alright, so that's about it. If you want to get more videos and tips like this, go to allbeacheverything.blogspot.com. Until next time.